It's more than seven weeks since Hamas launched its attack in what's been described as Israel's largest intelligence failure for 50 years. But analysis for the BBC reveals that Hamas held multiple training exercises planning the attacks in plain sight of Israel over three years and posted the evidence on social media. So how did the Israeli government miss it? Here's our defence correspondent, Jonathan Beale. BBC Arabic and BBC Verify have been analysing evidence posted on the online messaging service Telegram. It shows that Hamas in Gaza had been openly training for attacks inside Israel for almost three years. These red dots show the sites from the far north of the Gaza Strip to the very south where training took place, with Hamas joined by other Palestinian factions. We've geolocated most of the images of those training operations, with the four larger dots here representing major drills, which took place every year since 2020. Each was codenamed Strong Pillar. Let's look more closely at one training camp, less than a kilometer from the Erez crossing with Israel. This image, posted in December 2022, shows a mock Israeli town or village, complete with a mock tank. The video shows fighters practicing an assault. It appeared on the Hamas Telegram channel, as well as one belonging to a so-called joint operation room with other Palestinian factions. In fact, a propaganda videos, which were publicly accessible, were posted to both channels. In another location, on the 12th of September, less than a month before the assault, gunmen are practicing going room to room, shooting in what looks like homes. Here, in an exercise in 2021, the gate was even painted yellow, just like the kibbutzes that were attacked. And in December last year, they were practicing taking hostages, as happened on October the 7th. We've also identified some of the groups involved in the training drills, as well as Hamas, 10 different factions were involved, including Palestinian Islamic Jihad and some smaller groups. Six groups in total went on to publish videos of their fighters participating in the October the 7th Hamas-led assault. And Hamas had given warnings about plans to attack inside Israel. This was a press conference by Ayman Nofal, a senior commander in the military wing of Hamas here, boasting in 2021 that Israel's border defences wouldn't protect it. The videos posted of the September drill, codenamed Strong Pillar 4, even made the news and a discussion programme on Israel's Khan 11 television station. The presenter here announcing that Hamas had simulated an attack on Israel. So with all of this happening in plain sight, how was it that Israeli soldiers on the ground were taken by surprise? There's clear evidence for a strategic intelligence failure. You have the data in front of you, but you're not doing anything with it. You are feeling safe behind a fence where you spend billions of dollars on it. You think the technology that you've invested into will keep you safe. We ask Israel's defense forces for their response. They said the IDF is currently focused on eliminating the threat from the terrorist organization Hamas. Questions of this kind will be looked into at a later stage. They are, though, questions that will haunt Israel for years to come. Could the attack have been anticipated, potentially saving 1,200 Israeli lives and a war now, which has already, according to Gaza's health authority, killed more than 14,000 Palestinians?